When Tyler started at his current job, his employer gave him five days of paid vacation time with a promise of five additional paid vacation days for each two-year period he remains with the company to a maximum of five work weeks of paid vacation time. So we're going to let X, and I'm going to write this in. Okay, so this is uh, going to be my A right here. So X represents the number of years he has worked for this employer. X represents or is equal to number of years worked. Number of years worked. Okay. Y represents, Y is equal to uh, number of vacation days he has earned number vacation days earned okay <clears throat> and we're supposed to write an equation that models the relationship between these two variables okay so I want you to first of all notice the rate how fast does he accumulate days? His rate. His rate is five vacation days for each two year period. So five, he's got a rate. Five vacation days for each or per two years worked. All right, so <clears throat> you could actually say if I did this, if I did the division five divided by two, Right. If I went five divided by two, I get two and a half vacation days per year. So two point five vacation days per year. Right. That's his rate. <clears throat> so. If we wanted to, um, now you start off with five days. So our equation for A is going to be Y is equal to the initial amount of days, which is five, plus my rate, 2.5X. So that would actually be the, um, that would be, the equation that represents that. Now I think the book actually had this as um, y equals, and you could write it this way as well, y equals 5 plus uh, 5 over 2x. But if I do the division, that's what you get. So either one of these would be correct. Okay. Now question is, um, B, it has been eight years since Tyler began working for his employer. How many paid vacation days has he earned? So we're simply going to replace. So for B, then all we would do is replace um, X with eight. And that should give us the answer. So here we're going to go Y equals five plus 2.5 times 8, which gives me 5 plus, let's see, 2.5 times 8 plus 20. So the answer for B then would be 25 days.
And then we come to the C. When will Tyler reach the maximum number of paid vacation days allowed? So here, we're not solving for Y anymore. We're solving for X. And we say here, five work weeks. Five work weeks. Well, let's see if there are five. If there are five um, days in a week, five work days in a week, and it's five work weeks, so that should be 25. Oh, guess what? So eight years. So it looks like I think that we've reached the max right there at eight years. Um, when will Tyler reach the maximum number of paid vacation days allowable? So it says here, a five work week of paid vacation time. So that is 25 days. So it looks like the answer is eight years.